Hey y'all, I'm gonna first apologize for my voice because it has completely left me. <laughs> um, but I had something laid on my heart today that I really wanted to talk to you guys about. And it's something I've been asked for a very long time is why am I so smiley all the time? I'm always smiling and people are always asking me why am I so happy? Why am I always so smiley? And so I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit um, because I'm, I'm not happy all the time. I'm not, that's not humanly possible. Uh, yeah, that's just not real. But I am smiling most of the time. There are moments when I don't, believe me, she had to make a sad face. Um, but yes, I am a very smiley person, but it's not dependent on happiness. And I think it's important that we understand what happiness is because happiness is dependent on your happenings. It depends on the things going on around you. It's, it's fleeting. It's an emotion. It comes in the blink of an eye and it leaves just as fast. It can lift you higher than a mountain and it can drop you from that height as it comes and goes. It depends on the things happening. It happens to you. You become happy from something and it's great. Happiness is awesome, but you don't control it. It happens to you. What you can control and what you can have that is never ever fleeting is joy. Joy is not dependent on your circumstances. You can choose joy. It is a choice. And joy is steadfast. It's lasting. It's deeper. It has meaning. I'd like to give you a great example because um, I think sports are just the perfect analogy for life. We all kind of understand what the elite athlete goes on their journey to the top of the podium. You know, we face all those challenges and struggles to get there. We have to have the determination, the faith, and the perseverance to push through, overcome, and live out our lifelong dreams, right, to get to the top of that podium. So I think people, I think in life, we can just understand that athlete journey. And so I love to use sports um, to make a point. So going into my first Olympic Games in 2000, I left a college scholarship. I left all my friends. I left two NCAA titles. I left everything to come home to train for the Olympic Games. And three months before the Olympic trials, I broke my foot in three different places, pretty much shattered it, and had a giant purple cast. And, you know, that obviously wasn't part of my plan <laughs> to get to the games. And I remember the gravity, the weight of that just hit me one day in my living room. You know, I was so angry and depressed and, you know, just name an emotion. I was feeling it. Everything was there compounding, you know, when you feel the weight of the world on your shoulders and everything's happening to you at once. That's how I felt. This was everything to me. And I remember when that weight hit, I was standing in the middle of my living room in my apartment. I dropped my crutches and I fell on my knees and I just started weeping. And then I started screaming at God. I left everything and this is what I get. Why? Why? How can this be good for me? And as I got all that out, I ended up thanking him. Not because I was happy. I certainly wasn't happy in those moments. I felt like I was in the middle of a huge storm. But God was right there with me in it. He never left me. That is joy. Choosing God is choosing joy. Maybe you've heard it. The joy of the Lord is my strength. It's true. He is steadfast and everlasting, and so is his love, and he takes you as is. He took me broken and tattered physically, mentally, emotionally. Still am <laughs> in a lot of ways. He loved me as is, and he made me new. He cleaned me up. He carried me through the storm. Choosing God is choosing joy. And it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. Joy in God, hope in God, love because of God, that is not fleeting. And it will never leave you, no matter what dreams are broken, what jobs are lost, what illness comes, no matter what you face, 
He has overcome the world. You know, Jesus says, in this world, you will have tribulation. It's not an if. You will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. That's a big God you can trust in, and you can choose him and choose joy, which gives you reason to smile no matter what storm comes your way. If you haven't already, I hope you do that. I hope you choose him.